Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to add your clip to the website. Go ahead and go to KidsNetSoft, click on Google Sites over on the right, and here you're going to click on Classroom Site. You're going to then click on the 8th grade tab. You would then scroll down until you get where it says Photography and Filmmaking. Click on that, and once you're here, you're going to go ahead and click on Film. Now this example is going to be the close-up example that I've done, so I would click on the close-up link, which will take me to the page where I can add my clip. But before I add my clip, I have to do one more step. I'm going to go ahead and make a new tab, and I'm going to go ahead and type in Google Drive. Google Drive is where you're going to store your video before you can add it to your website. So once you click on Google Drive, you're going to go ahead and log in. Use your student number, so for example, 12345, the at symbol, then you type in student.asd20.org. That's going to be your login. And then type in your password that you use to get onto the network. But since I'm not a student, I'm going to use my login. Once this window loads for you, you're going to click on the Upload option over here on the left. Click on Upload Files. You will then locate that clip that you already edited in Windows Movie Maker. So I'll go ahead and select that video and it's uploading. Now once it's uploaded, do you see the share option? This is really important that you click on share. Right now it's set to private. You're going to change that and set it to public. Save it and then click done. Once you've done that, you can return to the website, scroll down and click on the sign in option at the bottom. Now since you logged into the Google Drive, you shouldn't have to log in again. I will then click on the edit option here at the top of the page. If the pencil doesn't show up, something's wrong, you need to get those privileges to log in. So I'll go ahead and click on the edit option. I will click in this box where it says name and I'm going to type in my name. You would then type in your name, obviously. I will click here in that top cell and I'm going to choose insert. Then I'll choose video and then in this case we're going to choose the Google Docs video and I'm going to locate that clip. There it is, close up. I'll go ahead and select that video and choose select. You can go ahead and leave the dimensions at 425 by 265. Then click save. You might want to click down below the video. There's a little extra space there and hit the backspace button to get rid of that extra space. That's just one of my little pet peeves. Click on the save option and your video will be loaded or it should be loaded. Now it's available for people to view. This concludes the session on adding your video clip to the website. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.